still going? Yeah, we on. Hey, but what we were speaking about, man, we, we talking about, man, everybody going to go through tribulations, man. All right? Even the brothers you see up here, man. All right? Because we all went off before, man. So we all got to pay for our sins, man, so to speak, man. All right? Everybody lot might be a little different though. All right, one brother may go through more tribulation than the other brother. All right, but the point is we all gonna go through tribulation. All right, from the two thirds to the elect, man. This is First Peter one and seven. <clears throat> that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold. Right. That, oh, got it. The trial of your faith, man. All right, the testing of our faith, man. All right, is much more precious than gold, man. Go ahead. It says that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and an honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Damn, Come on, bring that back, bro, for sure. Right? First Peter 1 and 7, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be, so like it might be found unto praise and an honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Right. So our, our 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 spirit, man, gonna be tried, man. All right. And that's what's gonna prove us to Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. All right. That we make it through that adversity, man. All right. That we keep pushing, man. All right. That's what's gonna save us, man. Go ahead. Right? James chapter one, verse twelve. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. Come. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. Which the Lord have promised to them that love him. Nah. And we were just going into how do you love the Most High, man? By keeping the commandments, the statutes, man. All right? So the Most High, he already made a promise to the ones that love him, to the elect, man. All right? That we're going to uh, inherit the kingdom of heaven, man. All right? That we're going to get those spiritual powers, man. We're going to get fucking slaves, man. All right? Yeah, that, that ultimate test of that RFID chip, man. Shut up. Yeah, I got that. I did, I did. This is uh, First Peter five. I'm gonna start at uh, matter of fact, I start at um, what was that? I'm gonna start on, on chapter four. First Peter chapter four, and I'm gonna start at twelve. It says this: Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Yahweh Shah's sufferings, that when His glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad. Also with exceeding joy. And I'm uh I mean that's that's pretty self-explanatory, you know what I'm saying? Like the brother has quoted the uh, Romans 8 and uh, 18. You know, right now this stuff that we suffer is not compared to be uh, uh it's not comparable to what we have to come if we be of the elect. Uh, with that, I'm gonna jump to first Peter chapter 5, and I'm gonna start at 9. It says, Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. So you're not the only one going through these uh, tribulations, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, that the, you got brothers all across the four corners of the earth going through, if not the same things, maybe worse. So you ain't always in the, uh, you can say the shittiest of predicaments, man. But the Lord give uh, his toughest battles to the who, you know, who he feel that he could uh, can handle it, roughly paraphrasing. I'm gonna keep going right quick on verse 10. It says, but the power of all grace who has called us into his eternal glory by Mashiach Yehovah Shah, after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. So, I mean, after you suffer that little affliction, man, the Lord, he builds you up and make you stronger than you were before. And, and, and ultimately it make you, it, it's to be seen if you deem worthy to be of the elect, man. Because why would the most high, that's like you going to like, uh, uh, you about to start off on like a sports team or something. Why would the, the, the coach make you know, uh, the number one player, if you ain't deemed worthy to be out there on the court or on the field, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be tried, huh? You gotta be tried. That's what you got practice and whatnot for. You know what I'm saying? Right now, we're just rehearsing the righteous acts. If you want to, you can kind of compare that to this to be in practice, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. you got a lot. Yeah. Go ahead. I, this is Acts chapter 14, verse 22. Mm -hmm. Confirming the souls of the disciples huh. and exhorting them to continue in faith. Right. How is he confirming the souls of the disciples, man? How is he confirming the souls of the elect, man? All right. The 144,000, man. All right. Through tribulation, man. Through trials, man. Through anguish, man. All right. He's going to take us through, through things, man. All right. 
And that's how he gonna confirm the souls, man. Okay? And he exhorting, man. Meaning like uplifting, man. Encouraging you to, to, to keep going, man. All right? Because that's what the scripture's for. He's the, this the comforter, man. All right? This is what's gonna encourage us to keep going, even though we're going through trials and tribulations, man. All right? Says, and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Through much tribulation, man. All right. The point is, we're going to go through tribulation, man. All right. Whether it be much or little, man. All right. But the scripture said much, man. So that's what it's going to be, man. All right. We're going through tribulation now as we speak, man. All right. The elect, man. All right. They going through tribulation now as we speak, man. All right. Because we know the truth and we still have to deal with this worldly society, man. That's tribulation, man. That's uh -huh. vexation of spirit, man. Ecclesiastes uh, 2 and 26, man. Get that up. But that's what we, we going through tribulation right now as we speak, man. All right? We got to deal with fucking Kim trails in the air. We got to deal with seeing these so-called crackers, man. These so-called white people walk around and be over us, man. All right? And we know the truth. That's tribulation, man. All right? And that's how the most signs confirming us, man. All right? By the course of our action, man. Whether we're going to be wise as serpents, man, and harmless as doves, man. Or whether we're going to take the stupid route, man. Like go over there and beat the shit out of those crackers over there, man. All right? Because y'all know the truth. Huh? Oh, 2 and 26. Huh? So that's what we're going through right now, man. Tribulation, man. All right? It's about to be winter, man. We up here in Cleveland, man. About to start getting cold, man. Yeah, it's a lot here, but on that wisdom, like even moving wise in the world, like <clears throat> just because you know the truth, don't mean right. you, you go fuck with other nations. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, come. Yeah. It's about to get cold out here, man. We gonna have to come out here in the freezing cold, man. Below, below, uh, zero below, man. All right, temperatures, man. All right, that's tribulation, man. Okay. What you, what you got? You got the, uh, actually, I got, I got. Go ahead. No, 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 I'm gonna get the one you want. This second edges, chapter 16, verse 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection mm -hmm. upon those that fear the Lord. That's tribulation, man. Alright? Because the ones that fear the Lord, man, is the ones who keeping his commandments and statutes, man. Alright? The ones who doing it to the best of their ability, man. Gonna be a great insurrection, man. Alright? Keep going. Mm -hmm. Verse 71. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, Kind. but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Kind. That's the so-called white man. They're going to be like madmen, sparing none, man. All right? Especially on these two-thirds, man, on two-thirds of our people, man. All right? They're going to be like madmen, sparing none. They're going to be sparing, man. They don't give a fuck if it's a little bitty baby, man. They're not going to spare you. They're going to smash, and they're going to dash your head through the stones, man. All right? Just like we're going to do their ass, man. All right, when the most I when the most I sanction it, man. All right. Hey, if I can uh, make a quick statement right quick too. If I can make a quick statement right quick too, though, you know they already doing that. I don't know if many people are aware, but right now as we speak, they still bombing Aleppo, Syria, man. And I've been doing a lot of uh, uh, posts about this shit. Many people get upset when they see a little child up under big ass, like you could say, ceilings, man. Like big ass ceilings that them fell down and crushed their ass and they digging up bodies and shit. Like they ain't sparing none. They don't give a fuck how old you is. If you're a male woman, you know what I'm saying? Elderly, none of that shit. Bro. Right. And them they own folks. Them, them all, you know, quote unquote say Edomites, if I'm mistaken. Them all crackers and shit. You got a lot. Keep, keep going on that. Oh, oh, oh. Are you talking about Syria? Yeah. Yeah, it's all. You're a different nation? Yeah, um, yeah, it's them. Like, um, it's also like, um, Iran. Yeah. Uh, you said, you said verse. 72? Yeah. Yeah. US 70, yeah. Yeah. All right, it says, this is 2nd Edges chapter 16. Um, oh, yeah. I'm at 71. No, I'm at 72, Salaki. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are, who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Come, man. So that's how you're going to know who the chosen of the Most High is, man. The ones who make it through that tribulation, man. All right? When you go through the tribulation, you may be cast in the, in the prisons, man. All right? They might kick you out of your, your, your dwelling, man. All right? They might take all your fucking food, water, man. All right? Take all your clothes and shit, man. All right? Make you go, go flee to the wood, to the wilderness, man. All right? 
Hey, that's being tried, man, and going through the fire, man. All right, and the only the elect gonna make it out of that, man. Right. Okay. Get that right quick. Huh? This is Baruch chapter four, verse fifteen. For he hath brought a nation upon them from far, mm -hmm. a shameless nation, shameless, and of strange language, mm -hmm. who neither reverence old man nor pity child. Gun. They don't reverence old man nor pity child, man. So it ain't gonna matter, man. All right, so us acting the truth, man, that's what we got to get, you know, we might have to prepare ourselves for that, man, all right, because our children may be taken away from us, man, all right, just to, just to, to, to confirm the souls, man, all right, just to confirm our spirit, that we really for the most side, that's why the scripture tell you to love not the things of the world, man, neither the world, man, all right, because if you love the world, man, you're an enemy of the most side, man, all right, and our children are of this world, man, they were begotten in this world, man, all right. That's why the scripture tell us not to have children, man. It tell us not to even get no fucking wives in this place, man. All right? So brothers gonna go through different tribulations and, and different trials, man, just to try their spirit, man. All right? And only the elect gonna make it out, like I said. I'm gonna finish up this one you gave me. Uh, this is verse 74, that's 2nd Ezra 16. It says, Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith Yehovah, Bahashem uh -huh. Yahweh Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for Yahweh is your God. Come, you know man. So, hey, all y'all Akims out there, man, who, who who claim to be in the truth, man. All right, you doing the works of the Heavenly Father, man. All right, we don't doubt the Most High, man. All right, because he's going to be our refuge, just like the Ak was bringing out a, 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 look, a couple seconds ago, man. All right? So we ain't going to doubt the Most High, man, whether we don't got no food, man, whether we don't have no water. All right? Lord willing, man, that's why we're supposed to pray that our flight don't be in the winter. Because if it was, man, a lot of motherfuckers would be dropping dead, man. All right? That's a major tribulation, man. To be outside, man. All right? Not able to uh to, to get no warmth. Hey, but we're not supposed to be comfortable in this, on this side anyway, man. All right? So a majority of us comfortable anyway, man. We got to get out that state, man. All right? Like the scriptures say, man, uh, uh, our salvation is nearer than when we believe, man. All right? So all you Akims out there, man, who, who doing this work, man, who doing the will of the Heavenly Father, man, all right? Gird up your, gird up your sackcloth, man. All right? Gird up your loins. Salah. All right. Go ahead. You got it. Uh, this is 2 Corinthians chapter 11. I'm going to start at 23. It says, Are they ministers of Yahweh Shah? I speak as a fool. I am more in labors, more abundant, in stripes above measure. Come. In prisons more frequent, in deaths off. Come. That's just short for often, by the way. That's the, who is that, uh, Apostle Paul? Come. Come, man. It, this is some of the uh, perils and some of the tribulations that the apostles went through, man. All right? right. And ain't nothing new under the sun, man. We were just quoting that, man. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, man. It's nothing new under the sun. So everything that they going that they went through, we going to go through, man. All right? Everybody going to have their feel of uh, uh, tribulation, man, so to speak. Okay? Right. It says, verse 24. Of the Jews, five times received I forty stripes, save one. Kind of the Jews, man, his own people, man. All right, was persecuting them, man. All right, beating them and shit, man. All right, with whips and shit, you know, like in slavery, man. Like the so-called white man used to do to y'all fucking backs, man. All right, our own people did it to us, man. That's right. Forty stripes, save one, man. All right. It says verse twenty-five. Thrice was I beaten with rods. Once was I stoned. Come. Thrice I suffered shipwreck, a night and a day I have been in the deep, in journeying often in perils of waters, in perils of robbers, in perils of my, in perils, so like it, in perils by my own countrymen, mm -hmm. in perils by the heathen, mm -hmm. in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren, Come. in weariness and painfulness. In watchings often, in hunger and thirst, in fastings often, in cold and nakedness, besides those things that are without that which cometh upon me daily, the care of all the churches. Come. So, you got it. And he got the care of all the churches, man. Because, uh, what? Uh, Apostle Paul, he was like the second in command, right? Under Peter, right? They, they up, I ain't hope percent short. Yeah, I, I believe so. I, I, I believe. I believe. Hey. I think he was under John, too. It was just, uh, uh, it was just with the Gentiles. Oh, okay, he was okay. He was in part of the 12. He oh, okay. He traveled both places. Like, yeah, he was in the part of the 12. Come, come. Made me think of Apostle with Paul. Like, you know what I'm saying? But Paul was given to the uncircumcision, meaning the, uh, the uh, 
the, uh, the uh, foreigners, man. Uh -huh. So what the brother speaks, he speaks the truth, though. You know, but the poor have a lot more knowledge than than the twelve, though. You're right, cause yeah, you know? Paul, Paul was taught by Yahweh and person. His Majesty. Yeah, feel me through the Spirit when he came, when he came, when he was resurrected. So Paul was taught directly by Yahweh Shai. He had way more knowledge. Yeah, more than the disciples. Yeah, but yeah. Peter was still the head. But Paul wasn't part of the He was just, he was a prophet, man. You know. And Salaki, I, I meant to say too. It's, it speaks. I believe it's in First Peter. It might be Second Peter that speak on it. Like his writings are hard, are hard to understand, man, because he was given that full course meal. You know those what I'm who are unlearned, though. Kind, kind to those who are unlearned. As a matter of fact, Peter was like, "Look, my bad."